girls are just checking out their new pasture objects. So we had tried last year unsuccessfully to catch some wild um, honeybees. We built 10 swarm traps and installed them, but we had no luck catching them. Um, but due to the popularity of these videos and so many people asking about how our bees are doing, we decided this year to buy some bees from a friend of mine. Um, now his bees, uh, he runs Langstroth hives, so uh, we bought Langstroth nukes. So one thing I liked about these horizontal hives that we built uh, from Dr. Leo uh, Shraskin's website, horizontalhive.com, was exactly this, that we, when I bought these um, bees in the Langstroth nuke, uh, I was able to set them right inside the hive and I left them in there for about a day and a half um, before I did what I'm doing here now. And of course, uh, this is not exactly easy on my knife, but uh, that knife is uh, my multi-tool for everything. Um, but this way, we let them in there a day and a half. They get used to the smell of their new home before we actually release them here. Um, and then we release them about a, about a day before we actually um, trans transition the Langstroth frames um, into the, uh, the conversion pieces that we built in our previous video. So we're just looking here at the activity. So now the bees are going in and out of the of the Langstroth nuke that is inside of these hives. Um, but they're actually not using the hive itself just yet. So we're just preparing now to uh, go ahead and convert or put the Langstroth frames in. So now we're getting set to take the cover off the first hive. And, uh, and again, like I said, this nuke has been in here now with the uh, screen taken off the front of the nuke box. Um, so we'll get a good picture looking down in there. And then we're gonna get set to just take this out of there. Take this whole thing out, Luke, and just set it right down there. Yep. And take it frame by frame. Yep. So here you see me getting ready to put in uh, two or three of my lay-ins frames. Um, so these are completely empty. No, I don't have starter strip on them. All I have is I have them wired. Um, you can see previous videos of mine to see how we made these uh, frames and wired them. Um, and the theory behind this is that uh, the frames that we keep closest to the entrance should um, be the frames that the bees build their brood comb on. Um, so um, one thing that's going to be definitely weird about this installation is that we're taking the frames from the Langstroth nuke, which are deep frames, um, and they are, we're actually going to orient them 90 degrees um, from how they have been built. Now that's going to create a bit of an oh, yeah. issue yeah, for the bees sure, yeah. because yeah, they um, have well, actually created a, a five degree um, incline uh, so that their honey and such can stay um, in the cells. So now they're going to actually have to, if they continue to use these, they're going to have to actually correct that and put a five degree um, incline in, a, in the different orientation, 90 degrees off. But the hope will be um, that because these frames here now, and you'll see this frame, this first frame we're looking at, it has lots of brood and it cap brood. Um, the hope will be that when the cap brood here hatches and turns into bees, um, that they will stop using these Langstroth frames um, and they will um, start using my frames. So before that happens, we have to convince them to build some comb on my bare frames. Um, and you'll see in subsequent videos how we've made out with that. Like so many of the things we do here at the uh, at Building Hill Farms, um, we often don't know exactly what we're doing, but we just, uh, we just come up with the best plan that we can um, come up with and then we try it. So 
One of the learnings that we did take from here, you'll see um, when I hit the, uh, when I drive that screw in, you'll see some of the bees falling off um, the um, frame. Um, and you'll see that that happens a few times in, over the course of these next frames. Um, we, we learned after we were done both of these hives that uh, really we would have been far better off to have a board laid across the hive um, and have the frame sitting on that board um, basically where Gary's elbow is there so that any bees that do fall off the frames when we sink those uh, two screws in would at least fall down into the box and again as far as worker bees it probably wouldn't matter except we could end up stepping on them um, while doing this but it would be very bad to have our queen um, drop off one of the frames when I sink those screws so uh, that would be definitely my advice if you were doing the same kind of thing um, would be to um, do that directly over the center of the box so that any bees that do fall fall into the box so you'll see what i mean here again as we do this i know but i can see you better okay that's fine whatever you need to do and again you'll notice that gary's lifting them up turning them 90 degrees and then we're putting on this adapter piece that i made so a lot of what you're looking at here is uh, you know, we're doing the same thing for uh, um, five different frames um, for this first hive. Um, and again, these uh, these pieces that I made and, and everything that we're doing here, this is the first time we've tried this and certainly the first time that uh, my friend Gary has uh, tried this. Um, and we're not sure how any of it's going to work, so you'll definitely want to catch some of our next upcoming about videos about, about uh, progress uh, on these hives yeah, about the same. I'm, um, it's good. but oh, i gotta say good. that uh, gary's bees yeah. were very tame because uh, my wife again was in she was the one holding the camera and she's not not very far away and she's got no bee suit on um, so give her a big uh, give her a, a comment about uh, how good she's doing um, not being scared of the bees if you get a if you can um, so yeah, this one's going to go in now. And one thing that when we did these, uh, when I built these conversion pieces and, and modified my hives, I, I wish I had gone just a little higher on the pieces that go around the perimeter of this hive because um, this frame, the Langstroth frame, the, the tip of it is actually touching on the bottom of the hive and it's making it not like the reason I'm fussing around there to try to get them to sit just right. They're not sitting just perfect. I'm asking a lot of you to do that for me. You're a pretty uh, brave woman. I don't know. A lot of her flaws. I think it's working really well. A lot of her flaws. That is really nice, Luke. <laughs> uh, I like to be charming. Oh, you are the prince of it. I really am, aren't I? No. You're a lucky woman. I don't know if I've ever told you that before. Some kind of luck. Huh? Some kind of luck. I got the booby prize. As you probably noticed from our little uh, witty banter that Jill and I just got done having, we have a pretty um, good relationship. Uh, we, uh, she she uh, takes a ribbing pretty well, and she gives it back just as good as she gets it. So. July. They're usually fairly calm anyway. So this but is I calm. Always, I always have the smoker. Yeah, where is this calm? Yeah, and to be honest, Gary, the uh, like my uh, frames hitting on the bottom there that wasn't really supposed mm -hmm. to be. They were supposed to just clear the bottom. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but uh, anyways, I think we'll make it work. So, how long are they going to stay in that little hanging part that you made? Until they until they build enough um, oh, home, there hopefully. There is the queen. Here, just zoom into the queen. Well, it's actually not a very it. big queen, but that is the queen. Oh, okay. You can see it right in front of my finger. Right there, yeah. going there. Going there. She's kind of different looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just has yeah. a longer body. Yeah. Nice. More goldy. Huh. So that's the one you do not want to crush. Exactly. So we're going to be careful with this one. But I guess at this stage, they theoretically could still make it work. Though, well, they? they could, but you're losing a lot of time. And you don't yeah. want to lose time when you're trying yeah. to build out this thing. Yeah. I'm just going to peel these off from here. 
Yeah, these guys are actually quite tall. Huh? So where is she at? Just for my own. Oh, right there. It's here. So exactly what I had said before um, with the bees falling off and the worries of the queen um, possibly falling onto the ground. Uh, we did make sure that because we seen the queen on this frame that she was over top of the box before we uh, put the screws um, into this one just in case she happens to fall um, because that would obviously be a, a rather large setback um, for our hive if she was to fall. So the front one's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna jiggle it a little sideways once I do the front one. No, they do not. I should have I never thought of it until until we get up here. I should have done the, the drill. Well, that one didn't take, did it? That one did. The front's sitting on the bottom, anyway. So. Yeah, it's not going in. Oh, it's probably sitting right on a nail or something in the frame. Possibly. But I don't think it's worth. It's not a long, long-term thing. So. Did you see her? Is she still on this side? Hopefully. <laughs> she's in the box anyway. As long as she's in the box. So she doesn't come out at all? So here we've had a bit of an epiphany here and we decided that uh, we would try putting um, one of our frames in between um, two of the Langstroth frames that are full of brood comb um, in the hopes that maybe with the, the concentration of bees that are in uh, on the brood comb that possibly that would lead them to draw these uh, frames the out part of uh, this quicker. So uh, yeah, pay check out uh, some of the upcoming videos and you'll see uh, how that uh, theory worked out for us um, and you'll see on this last frame that uh, Gary has that uh, there's very little uh, activity on one side of his frame and then the other side has a, <coughs> a little bit but that actually works to our favor because um, I actually do not want the bees to continue to use uh, these frames of Gary's because the idea is is that as soon as I can, um, just by the placement of these frames in the hive, I want to keep moving these high, uh, these frames of Gary's to the right, away from the opening in the hive to encourage the queen to lay her eggs uh, and larvae in the um, in my frames and as soon as i can transition as soon as they fill gary's frames with honey um, then i'll transition um, gary's frames out of the hive so these guys here were over to help um, that's a sarcasm because they are actually very unhelpful um, especially for uh, these beehives, yeah, don't that, <clears throat> I'm I'm modif or I'm doing the video work on this a couple weeks after, uh, and those four goats actually knocked over one of my hives uh, one day. Sorry, bud. I feel a couple of crunches in there. So Gary's just getting okay. set to knock the last of the bees that are stuck in his nuke box uh, inside the hive uh, and this is a follower board that I made um, and the, the piece on the end of it um, I basically just put on there because of um, these little extension pieces on the top of my hives uh, and so I've made it so the bottom of this follower board can come off when I'm ready to um, once I remove the rim piece and again I won't be able to remove the rim piece until I can get the bees to move all of their brood comb onto my uh, lands frames. Um, so time will tell if that's gonna be good. And the reason I'm having a little bit of trouble here is I think I was just a little too mean when I cut these follower boards. I should have made them just slightly bigger or slightly smaller. 
And uh, here we are, we're going to attack the uh, second hive doing the exact same thing, but I'm not going to put everyone through the monotony of watching that all again at regular speed. So I'm going to speed these up uh, significantly. I, I thought some of you might actually uh, be interested in seeing, uh, even if it was at high speed, um, the next um, hive being done. So uh, let me know in the comments if you would rather I just showed you one and skip this uh, this extra footage. Uh, it'll give me some input uh, in the future as to what I should do. So again, you'll see I got the three of my empty uh, lands frames closest to the opening. So essentially on these two hives, I have the, the hive on the left, the opening is to the far left, closest to my tree line. And then in this hive that we're working on, the opening uh, is uh, actually um, on the end that we're starting on, right below my drill, or my uh, impact gun. Um, so I got to give Gary credit on uh, his bees. Um, they are uh, there's lots of bees and lots of brood comb that uh, came so, um, with his bees, and I really think that's going to give these hives a, a really fair shake at uh, at getting going. So um, credits to Gary for that. Um, Gary uh, is, um, is a beekeeper friend of mine that uh, that I met uh, probably three years ago. Um, when I started out with the Lands, or sorry, with the Langstroth hives, um, I did not successfully get any of my three hives through the first winter, uh, and that's what kind of set me off on this quest. Um, so here, I'll, uh, they're going to show you the queen from the second hive. And she's just she just has a slightly longer thorax than than the rest of the bees. She's probably maybe two times uh, the size of the other bees lengthwise. Um, so, anyways, I did meet Gary when uh, I was doing the uh, my Langstroth hives. Uh, I did not successfully winter any um, of my three hives through, um, and then that set me off on this whole quest to find a different way to go about it. Uh, I blamed myself for not getting uh, my first three hives through the winter. Um, I did not manage them to the level that I really should have if I wanted to be successful. Um, and I guess that was one of the things I didn't like about the Langstroth. So my hope is with these um, horizontal lands hives is that um, it will require a lot less time for me to do inspections. Um, there we go, folks. That's uh, two new sets of bees installed in our horizontal lands hives. Um, thank you for watching. If you like the content, hit subscribe, please like and comment. Um, and look for future videos uh, coming from us uh, for updates on how these bees are doing. Thank you.